We have made it to soccer season. Welcome to our first edition of the Coach George Kiefer Show. The new season is upon us. The Bulls take the field on the 18th of August in the first of two exhibition games against the Stetson Hatters. Well, Coach, here we are. Yeah. It's been a hard uh, off season, a lot of work taking place, a lot of conditioning. You have reeled in a very highly regarded recruiting class. Seems like a lot of pieces are in place for this upcoming year. The great part about this season is uh, a fair amount of the new guys have been with us since uh, January. Um, and, uh, you know, we played New York, we played Toronto, we played Orlando City, we played the Rowdies. So uh, we've played some, some very good teams in the spring. Um, but, uh, you know, I really have to take my hat off to my, my assistant coaches because to, to put together the class that we have, both the guys that came in January and, and the few guys that are still arriving on campus as we speak, uh, they have been all over the place looking under a lot of rocks and turning some no's into yeses. And uh, I really, really uh, feel like they did a good job with this class. There is some turnover in this year's team compared to last year. You had some very special seniors who finished up their careers. But as we mentioned, the recruiting class, all the experts love the class that's coming in. You have veterans coming back as well. It's an interesting mix. Do you see the camaraderie that you're looking for? Do you see them coming together? I, I do see that. Uh, and I, you know, I do feel like the group has really, really strong leadership. And it's not just one guy, it's like five or six guys. Uh, which is a huge piece to, to any college athletic team. Uh, and, um, you know, if I took the team that started in the spring uh, against Orlando City, that team would do very well in college soccer. So to add a few players to that, and then it's a group that's been together for six, seven months now, um, you know, I feel really, really good about the group. And then, you know, I keep talking about my staff, but you look uh, the continuity amongst the staff uh, you know, it, it just, uh, we know what we need to do, uh, the players know what they need to do, uh, and really it's not, it's not the, the talent that is going to win games. Every, every good team is going to have talent. It's going to be how hard they work for each other uh, and how hard they fight and scrap and do the little things to build relationships, and that, that's what preseason is going to be all about. You have some veterans in the right places too, including in the net. That's going to be a big advantage. Yeah, and, and Spale, you know, having gone through a whole season uh, is excellent. Uh, you look at the, the back line, uh, really good leadership there. The center of the park has guys returning. Uh, uh, one of the wingers, the guy up top. Uh, you know, I, I, feel, I feel good uh, with the group we have. And it's, uh, it's a matter of getting uh, everybody, coaches and players, to want to fight for each other. We're just a few days away from the first match of the season, an exhibition against Stetson. We'll talk about that as well later on in the show. When we return, one of those returning veterans for the Bulls, Marcus Epps, will join us as the Coach George Kiefer Show continues. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and neurology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Welcome back to the George Kiefer Show. The Bulls open it up on the 18th of the month exhibition match against Stetson. Marcus Epps joins us now. Three goals, two assists last year for the Bulls. And Marcus getting ready for another year. Here we are. I mean, we're ready to go. Is the team ready? Yes, everybody's pumped, ready for the season. It's been a, been a long wait. People have been here since early this summer getting ready for the season. So we're all ready and pumped for the first game. 
Now, it was a good season for the Bulls last year, but it was a little uncharacteristic not making the NCAA tournament. You were so close to get the conference championship and then the free ticket to the NCAA tournament. Is that something that you set aside that memory or is it something that motivates you into this year? We definitely, it's a little bit of both. We set it aside for motivation because we don't want that to happen again. So we're, we're all pumped. We got a bigger goal ahead, you know, trying to get to national championship or final four. So we're gonna use that to help us get to where we wanna be for this season. Well, there is some turnover in the roster this year. Some seniors finished up last year. Coach brings in a very, very highly regarded recruiting class. A lot of new guys on this team. As a veteran, what role do you play trying to get those guys ready for game one? Well, just give them a, a heads up on how the season's going to be and how we do it here at USF. But the new guys are great that's coming in. Great attitudes, personality, and they're great on the field. So it's going to be an interesting year to see. Well, part of the reason people love this program is the wide open offense. It's fun to watch. It's fun to play too, I would imagine. I would imagine the new guys are pretty excited about that. Talk a little bit about the style of play, how it impacts you. Oh yeah, we definitely try to play free flowing, you know, with the game open, not that many restrictions, keeping the ball, a lot of runs off the ball, movement off the ball. And coaches really leave it up to the players and the attackers as far as offense. So. It'll be interesting for the new guys to be able to express themselves on the field and as well mesh with the guys that's been here. So be fun. We're a couple years into this new stadium now and we're starting to see traditions that pop up kind of naturally on their own. And one of them is you guys going through the crowd to take the field. How will you describe that to the new guys who are about to experience that for the first time? Unbelievable, unbelievable. We have great fans here at USF and they make the experience that much more better. So walking down the Corbett, it's nothing, it's nothing like these guys have seen before. So it'll be heads up, I guess, would be just be ready to be amazed. So. How unique is that perspective when you're on the field? For people that haven't been to Corbett Stadium, it is a bowl and the players are actually a little bit lower level than the fans. You're kind of looking up at everybody. That's probably different than any place else you play. Yeah, for sure. We've, uh, since I've been here, the places we've traveled, it's been, it's been much different than a lot of places we've been. But it's, it's so good to know that they're on your side when you're in that little bowl, when you have the gold mouth screaming they're for you, so it's a great experience. It's good to look up and see your fans there cheering for you, so it's wonderful, it's wonderful, it truly is. It's about to begin again. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great season. We'll check in with you as we go along. Marcus Epps, USF Soccer, they take the field for the first time on August 18th, the first of two exhibition games. Stay with us, Coach is coming back. The George Kiefer Show continues after this. For an individual or family health care plan, or maybe a dental policy, look no further than the Tampa Florida Blue Centers in West Shore, Carrollwood, and Pinellas Park. For more information, go to floridablue.com or call the number on the screen. This is where the legends live, waiting for someone with better innovation. From the brand that reinvented the t-shirt comes the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo. This is our rocket ship. Welcome back. Bulls and Stetson coming up on the 18th of August. That's next week. Going to be here very soon. Coach Marcus Epps joining us earlier. There's a real veteran, a guy you can depend upon. Showed a little scoring punch last year with three goals. Yeah. Marcus uh, had a really strong summer as well. He you know, went off and played with uh, Chicago Fire's PDL team uh, and then actually gave up uh, most of his summer to be back here with our strength coach. Uh, which is the first time he's, he's done that uh, on his own, which uh, I think is a huge sign uh, that he's really committed to having a strong junior season. Uh, and Marcus is a player I like to be around. He's a, he's a fun guy to be with. Uh, and I, I feel like he will not only do very well for himself, but he's going to be very helpful to some of the new guys coming in. 
Well, I thought that was interesting because he made that point during our talk about how he feels that's part of his responsibility as a junior, a guy that's been in the program for a couple of years, to get these new guys prepped for the first game. Yeah, and having, having guys like Marcus and, you know, there's a couple guys that uh, as soon as they stepped foot on campus, they've been starting players uh, where he's going into his junior season. In a lot of cases with juniors, they've played 15, 20 games. So uh, the amount of games he's played, you can almost look at him like he's a senior uh, because he's been in that lineup for so long. All right, two exhibition matches coming up for the Bulls. Stetson on the 18th. A couple of days later, the University of Tampa is in. I know that matchup against the Spartans is a little bit special in its own right because of the crosstown rivalry and all the uh, other things that go along with it. But in general terms, in an exhibition match prior to a season like this, how much different is this from a regular match? Are you looking at different combinations? Do you already have pretty much set in your mind what kind of lineups you're going to have? How much tinkering is there that we can expect in these two matches? Sure, and the, the Stetson game will be uh, very methodical. In other words, our, our moves in the game uh, won't be based on what's going on in the game. They'll be very strategic and planned out and we'll manage play his minutes uh, and regardless if they're having a, a, a great performance or if they're having a performance that isn't so great, uh, we'll, we'll leave them in for X amount of time. But uh, we will really be smart with uh, how long each player plays and we'll make sure that we get a good look at everybody that's in consideration. Uh, for Tampa, it'll start to get uh, closer to, uh, to how we want to go about things. And um, some of our reactions in the game will be based on what we see, and then some will be very methodical. Uh, but, uh, you know, the two matches are in preparation for Missouri State, uh, which uh, Missouri State is a, a very good side with, you know, 14 to 16 wins over the last two seasons. And, uh, you know, you look at how we're opening up the regular season, uh, the players are locked in. They know that uh, we have really. Uh, put a good uh, four games in front of them that could be, you know, very enticing for guys that want to play against good teams. That opener is going to be August 28th against Missouri State. And it seems like we say it every year, but we'll say it again, up and down the line, a very challenging schedule. You sure. do this for a reason, sure. not only conference play, but the non-conference play coming right out of the gate with Missouri State, but really all the way down the schedule, some very difficult matches coming up. Yeah, and I think the, the thing that if you really dig down deep into the plays of last year's team, I think we can hold ourselves accountable, coaches and players, in that uh, we might have looked at certain matches and felt like we didn't have to be at, at full throttle, uh, which uh, that, that burned us. And um, I think the players have that experience where we could be playing the three blind mice and they're gonna be ready to go. That, that's the truth. It's, uh, it doesn't matter who we're playing, we have to have our own standard and go about it the same way. We'll look forward to two exhibition matches, and we also have something to look forward to at the end of September. We'll talk a little bit more about this as the show progresses throughout the fall, but we do want to get you aware of some of the special things that will be going on around the end of September when we mark 50 years of USF Athletics. And USF Athletics officially began September 25th, 1965 with... Men's soccer, Coach Dan Holcomb, the USF Hall of Famer out there. There'll be some things around the USF men's soccer game that weekend to commemorate 50 years. That's pretty special, and it was men's soccer along with cross country that got it started that day way back when. It's awesome to be a part of a program that's really been strong in men's soccer for, for a long time. I'm, I'm actually having some graphics done for our locker room so the players see it, but you look at the amount of conference championships, and you look at how good they've been in so many different conferences, uh, it really, you look at that board, it didn't matter what conference they were in, in men's soccer, they were very strong. And then Dan Holcomb, uh, I've become good friends with over the years, and, and he passes on a lot of wisdom to me, so uh, I'm looking forward to, to making sure that the players in the locker room understand how much we appreciate 
everyone that's been a part of the program leading up to this point. Much more on that as we get closer to the end of September. But first, we get set for the Bulls and Stetson August 18th, then USF and Tampa a few days later. Regular season opens against Missouri State on the 28th. Coach, thanks. Have a great Thank season. Again. We're looking forward to another year. All right. Head coach George Kiefer, we'll see you again soon here on Bulls Cast.